Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, we will have a look how to use the debug for Chrome extension to debug our React code inside of VS Code. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. To get familiar with the debugging inside of VS Code, we'll firstly launch a simple React project using the React Create app. And the project consists just of two components, the app.js and the new component JS. And all we passing into the new component is the username that is gener generated by the getName method. And we passing it number two, okay? So we hard coding number two and we are getting in return a string, a name that is coming from the state on this app and the users are called from the data.js. Okay, so here is a collection or array of users and we want to firstly hard code the user number two and then we'll add some random randomizer later on. But for now, we passing one string to the username that will be the prop on the new component that renders on the page. Okay, so on the left side, I've got a browser window open and on the right side is the VS code. And now let's get familiar with how the debugging in VS Code works. For us to be able to use the debugging tools inside of VS Code, we need to install Debugger for Chrome. So if you haven't already, search for Debugger for Chrome inside of your VS Code extensions and install it. Once you have it installed, we can configure it together. Now we can click on the debugging tool and in the top, section you'll see that there's currently no configuration for this project so we'll need to create the config and by clicking on the cog icon we can select chrome and inside of here all we need to do is change the localhost url okay so because we are running a react project that project is running on a localhost 3000 so we can copy this url and paste it inside of the configuration if you're running a different project if you're running angular project this would be localhost 400 4200 depending on your project you just change this url to match your project we'll save the file and that's all we have to do this will launch we requested the launch of a chrome so it will open a new chrome window with our project running inside of it and it will attach the vs code debugging tools to the instance of Chrome. Okay, so if I save it, close it, hide the terminal as well and hit F5. Now we're running in the debug mode and as you could see on the left side, I've got a new window of Chrome and also I've got this toolbar floating at the top of VS Code and that signals also the orange bottom bar signals that we are in a debugging mode and we can use the debugging features. Now we can create breakpoints inside of VS Code instead of the console of Chrome. And we can do that by simply clicking on this space between the number and the left panel of VS Code. And by putting this red marker inside of VS Code, we will attach the breakpoint to the file. And as you can see, it also shows up in the breakpoints list. Okay, so if we have multiple breakpoints, they will be all listed here. So you can have multiple breakpoints across multiple files and you can quickly jump to them by clicking on the list over here. So for now, just keep one breakpoint and to get it or to see it in action, all we have to do is to refresh the page, okay? So if I refresh the page or restart, that will refresh the page for us and it will tell you inside of Chrome, post in Visual Studio Code, okay? So now we are running the code in a browser, but we are having the debugging tools enabled in VS Code. And we can simply hover over the code itself and it will tell you exactly what are the variables as we step through the code. Okay, so get name, we passing in number two because that's what we hard coded inside of the render method. And then we have all the users. This is the state, current state of the app. We have the array of all the users and then we are returning the user number two or index number two, which will be this Clementine Boich. And if we let it go, 
clicking on the play should see the exactly same name inside of the Chrome. So this is how we can put a breakpoint anywhere in our code, see the app working in the browser, but having the code nicely stopped and paused exactly where we want inside of VS Code. Now let's remove the breakpoint and try to do something more complex. We'll remove this getName method and I will remove this region that I had collapsed before and enable these two methods. This will give us a random name. Okay, so we are generating random name still from the state users array and then we just generating random number and that's what will give us a random number every time we refresh the page or every time we run this get random name. Okay, so all we have to do is get random name, paste it here instead of get name. We will now use the random name method and that will give us the new name on a page refresh. Let's put a debugger inside of the random, but as you could see, it's not a red, it says unverified breakpoint, file is modified, please, please restart the debugging session. Okay, so if you see this icon, means that you probably written a new code that you need to restart the debugging tools for you to be able to add the breakpoint here. Okay, so let's stop it and hit five again. And now we are again VS Code, again paused at the right moment. And when we hover over the N, you'll see that now it's number four. If I refresh it again, this will be always something else. So this is automatically regenerated randomly on a page load. Now what we can do, we can add this number inside of a watch list that will watch just specific variables. And if I right click, click on add to watch, now we are watching for the end value and every time we refresh it, it will show up inside of the watch list. So if you have a lot of local variables, this list might be very long. You can simply just add the specific values or attributes that you're looking for into the watch list. And then when the app refreshes or as you step through the code, it will update in the watch list. As you could see now, it's unavailable until you hit refresh and then it's generated to number five. So that's how you add variables inside of the watch list. And that's it all for today. That's how you use the debug for Chrome extension for VS Code to debug your React code. And let me know in the comments, are you using this VS Code extension, this VS Code functionality to debug your React projects? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.